Now Newton on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Second and 10, Newton again. Going right side here, and that's complete. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Fresh set of downs here. Now a first down throw for Newton. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second down and four. They'll take the handoff. Now Newton. Flushed out right. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. defensive back in the game now here for third and four they'll run with a backup this is Williams he won't go down down the numbers there he goes touchdown Carolina Ricky Williams 56 yards and the Panthers are gonna take a first quarter lead you talk about explosion plays. Here's one pretty much right out of the gate. And now they get to ride a wave of emotion, momentum, everything. Just as you, just as you described, right out of the gate. Big sprint, touchdown. They're excited. But on the other side, they've got to guard against a major letdown because they hit them right in the gut with that one. And now you start to question yourself a little bit when you give up a touchdown on the opening drive. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. And he will be marked down right there at the 20-yard line. First down, Carr. 
Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. That was a nice completion on an out route. And those types of plays are the result of arm strength by the quarterback and timing by the receiver. And the play clock running very low, so Dan Quinn decides to call for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So here we go, first and 10 now. On first and 10, here's Carr. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, Makes me glad I didn't make it in that pick. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up time with Ricky Williams. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Car now on first down. Caught left side Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And that last drive, it was 